Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, classmates. We are the group 11, and we will discuss all about the topic Results Most Contested and Ever Incontestable Manuscripts by Jesus Maria Cavana. So, let's start. Okay. So, on the screen, I'll be explaining about these things. So, um, as you can read that, in addition, Rizal's holograph was brought to the Ateneo and then to the Archbishop's Palace, where many other persons had the chance to examine, read, and get copies of it. On that same day as well, the text of the document was published, correctly in some papers or with some very slight and insubstantial discrepancy of a word, more or a word less in other papers. So after some time, the document with some 35 other similar or related documents bound together in a folder about hundred or one half inch thick was kept in the Archbishop's archives. And for almost 12 years, nobody came out to question its existence or its genuineness. It was only at the end of 1908 when, according to Chidoro M. Calau, the Lama Scenario of Filipina, Manila, 1920, on his page 202. So the Mazon started a campaign against the falsehood of the alleged abjuration of Rizal. So therefore, the document could not be easily located then when the archives of the Manila Archdiocese were simply heaps and bundles of thousands of papers materially piled up in some few shelves in a sort of cellar. So probably no serious efforts were done to hunt for a needle lost in the proverbial hay stack. Alright, so now let's proceed with Father P.U.P. or P.U.P.I. La Muerte Cristiana del Dr. Rizal, Manila, 1909. So, the first bullet or um, you can see on the screen. You can read that, by the way. And then, furthermore, according to him, it was useless because for those who thought that Rizal's greatness lies on his anti-Catholic ideas and writings, the retraction document became a total denial of such greatness, and that could not be. And so, they kept on claiming that results retraction could not be accepted unless the original document be produced. So, guys, the claim was obviously unreasonable, right? So, in legal procedure and in historical methodology, direct and circumstantial evidence may will bring or may will bring the certainty of a disputed fact even in the absence of the best evidence so and this is what gonzalo maria piñana achieved in his work muriel el doctor rizal christianamente reconstitution de las ultimas horas de su vida so he gathered the testimonies of the contemporary papers um, look for all the surviving witnesses and saw to it that each one would sign their sworn statements before some recognized notary public, legalizing their documents before the proper consular authorities so that no legal requisite be wanting to the perfect validity of such accredited public instruments. So note that the text included in Father Pius or Pius booklet was not the text of Rizal's Holocaust. Good morning, leaders. This is Marvick Sullivan, your second reporter. I will be the one to continue the report from Miss Salon. So for continuation, let's uh, proceed to the next topic, which is the Conard of Rizal Attractions. So, Harry Cavana is making a review of a curtain booklet that was produced regarding the canard of the cell retractions. He emphasized that he will only focus on the pertinent pages of the book since out of 186 pages 
Only eight or nine have a topic that relates to the title Rizal Retraction and the rest have nothing to do with the announced retraction. So since the book insistently declares that Rizal did not retract, Cavana then made a review of what you read in the booklet, especially the three sentences or 16 lines where, the, where he pointed out a, out a eight groundless, unsainable, and erroneous statements being written on the booklet, which he managed to answer one by one and will be discussed by the next reporter. Let's continue to the next slide. Um, the book had brought in the introduction that there are two supposedly retraction. The first original retraction, according to the booklet, of Father Pio Pai published in Spain in 1909 uh, as an alleged verbatim copy of the original. Cavana, and Cavana then made comments that he arguments and... Uh, that the arguments and the facts amassed and presented by the author were in insubstantial. He proves that by pointing out the statement of the booklet that Father Pio Pai published in Spain that were actually printed in Manila. Um, in Peranta de Santos y Bernal, Dalumbayan, Dalumbayan, into Santa Cruz. To clarify, move uh, aboard or report the next reporter will explain more about the Banner's review of the booklet. Thank you and God bless everyone. Once again, good morning, leader. So I am Magintado, and for today, continuation of our reporting. So after several times of reading this book, book of Cabana about the most uh, contested and ever incontestable manuscript of Rizal, I therefore conclude that Father Cabana is a pro. He really believed that uh, Rizal did retracted. So, in the pursuit of Cabana in searching the said hidden treasure, which is the original Rizal retraction or the truth behind that Rizal really did retract. So, he mentioned earlier by our previous reporter, Cabana did pointed out and had seen traces of eight groundless mistakes from the booklet. So, he found it, he found it out from the page 42 of the said booklet. So, in three lines 16 16 short lines three sentences he found this eight groundless uh, statement but then he managed to explain it so let us all examine it one by one let's go first with the first statement so it says results crafty crafty enemies presented original retraction so here Cavana pointed out that this Crafty enemies refers to the Jesuits fathers. So it can be seen on the page 41 of the said booklet. So throughout the history, there is no serious historian that can admit that Rizal hated the Jesuits and then Jesuits toward Rizal. So vice versa. There is no proof. But on the contrary, there are abundant proofs that uh, uh, abundant proofs of Rizal's esteem towards uh, his their professors, which is the Jesuits, and then the Jesuits towards uh, Rizal, because during Rizal's time, Rizal was the most outstanding student, and his teachers were the Jesuits' fathers. So, furthermore, the Jesuits were merrily forwarded the said document, the original text, to the Archbishop Palace for people to be to examine the said retraction and to be exhibited. So let's forward to the next statement. So that the second statement says the booklet says that they actually presented not only one but two or three original different original retractions. So here Cabana then brought up how the booklet kept stating that the district offered two or three original retractions. The booklet indicates that the first one was released in Spain and the second one was in Philippines and the third one may be referring to Ritana's version. Once again, let us not forget that during Rizal's time, Rizal's time there are so many wit and cunning persons or people that 
really wanted to tarnish the tarnish the reputation of Reza. So, Cabana even stated, give a reward of a thousand pesos to anyone who could produce at least two of the alleged original retraction of Reza. He was previously aware that the first retraction, which is the original, was discovered by Father Garcia. Gracia on May 18, 1935, but he was curious about the location of the other original retraction that were mentioned in the booklet. So let's move forward to the third statement. So on the third statement, it says the first was published in Spain. So this first was the original retraction, referring to the original retraction. So in this statement, original retraction may mean either a reproduction of the handwritten document or merely a copy of its text. In any case, the statement is wrong. Here, Cabana proved that because the first photostat of Rizal's autograph, autograph retraction was published in Philippines Herald on June 15, 1935 in Manila. So it is stated in Manila, the first copies of the first uh, of the text of Rizal's retraction were published by the Manila Dialist, the Diario de Manila, La, La Voz Española, and El Comercio on December 30, 1896, not in Spain as the booklet says. So the, uh, the rest of this eight statement would be tackled and will be examined by our next reporter. Thank you. Once again, good morning everyone. I am Mayan Singson and I will continue the discussion. So let's proceed to number four. According to the booklet, the second retraction was published in the Philippines. Now here, Cabana pointed out that the booklet is wrong of writing that there is a second original retraction and was published in the Philippines. Because there's only one original retraction, the one that is being found at 11.30 p.m. of December 29, 1896, that was being kept in the archives of the archives of Manila. And during that time, there are a lot of copies being produced since 1935. And they all came from the only one and very same original holograph or result. And that every discrepancies or slips found is understandable because it might due to many reasons like errors of typography, the slips of copy is bad. The booklet claims that Rizal's holograph, which is being found by Father Manuel Garcia in 1935, are different from the text published by Father Pio Pai in 1909 who happens to be one of the living eyewitness during Rizal's retraction in 1896. So for Cabana, this claim is only to confuse the reader, since for him, there is nothing to confuse, because the first text that the booklet was referring to was not published in Spain. Instead, the first text being published was apparently the text that is being found in Rizal's holograph, the very text that appeared in Diario de Manila on December 30, 1896. Now, the first text of the booklet refers to, which Father Pai included in his opuscules in 1909, is actually the second, since it was published in the magazine La Juventud of Barcelona, Spain, a month after Rizal's death. So, Cabana thinks that if there is a small mistake found, such as word less or lacking of letter or more, every discrepancies are easy to explain. But the main point is that the booklet should have written instead, that the first text was published in Philippines and the second in Spain. Now let's proceed to number five. Father Pio Pai published his opuscule La Muerte Cristiana del Dr. Rizal in Spanish Peninsula. So here, Cabana pointed out other mistakes of the booklet statements insisting that Father Pai published his opuscule in the Spanish Peninsula, when it is already obvious that the opuscule were published in Manila. And it was printed in capital letters saying Manila Imprenta de Santos e Bernal. Now, let's proceed to number six. Father Pai published La Muerte Cristiana, possibly to correct Ritana's version, published earlier. Now here, Cabana clarified that it's impossible for Padre Pio to correct Ritana's versions. Why? Since there's no need for him to do that. Because the version of Britannia's retraction are identical to Father Pio. There's only one typographical found that 6 instead of 9 was written, but other than that, from first words to last words, every word coincides its other. He also pointed that in Ritana's book, you can never found the claim that the text published is a true copy of the retraction, as what the book did writes. Let's proceed to number 7. Father P.U. Pai claimed that this was true copy of original Rizal retraction. 
Just like what the booklet claims about Tritana's version, there is no evidence found that Father Pai claimed the accusation. And if the booklet is telling the truth then, why not put a reference if what page we can see where Ritana or Father Pai wrote the, uh, the said claims? Now let's proceed to number 8. Rizal's crafty enemies were in such haste to exhibit their prize that they actually presented the first original attraction in 1909, the second in 1935. Again, Cabana questioned the given statement pointing out about the word haste used by the booklet, meaning in hurry or in excessive action, which contradicts to what really happens, since Father Pi Opuscule was published in 1909, and then after 13 years, that's a long, long years to count, that Father Garcia find the results holograph in 1935, which the booklet refers to as the second retraction. Second, the booklet claimed that there is four versions of results retraction, and those are of Pai, Ritana, Ortiz, and Garcia. Now, according to Cabana, since Ritana and Pai are almost identical, we then it now become three. He also said that he know nothing about Father Ortiz and he has no access of the copy to the translation of Ortiz. And that since Father Ortiz has um, questionable authenticity, so from three, he focused to the two texts, one from Ritana Pais and one from Garcia version, which is Rizal's own holograph. Now, the book ends with conversation explaining about the two original retraction that there is actually a two original retraction of Bissau. Now, the first one is found by Father Pai Garcia in 1935. He also explained that there's a number of differences between the two texts. In the second text, there is italized word, a whole clause in parentheses, including accents, punctuation marks, and many more, which made the two texts different from each other. Now, these differences are being explained that the idealized word are those which result of its own, which being added or modified to the proposed formula, and that is what the Jesuit is copying. The rest of ordinary romans are the words of the proposed formula, which is also include the words that results did not write in his retractions, and you can find those words being in closes in parentheses. So it only clarifies that the text of Father Pi is actually the original formula proposed for the retraction, which according to Jesuits were added or modified by Rizal, which only means that there is one original retraction of Rizal, the one that Garcia found, and one original proposed formula to Rizal by the Jesuits, and that is the text of Father Pi. Now, they are different since the formula proposed contain a whole clause which results did not include in its original retraction. And since the words added and modified by result is not included in its original retraction as a respect of it, this Jesuit, the Jesuit then record it in the draft of the formula proposed and since he only writes it based on listening to what results the dictation, that explains why he slightly missed one word and a letter. Lastly, the difference between capitalization, accentuation, and marks of punctuation is understandable. Why? That since the two texts are written by two different persons. First is Rizal, second is Father Pai. So, before I'm going to end our report, I just want to leave this message. That whether Rizal as are retracted or not, this is uh, will not diminish Rizal's stature as a great hero. With such witness, he is still our hero who courted death just to demonstrate to those who contest our patriotism, patriotism that we are capable of dying of our duties and beliefs. So that's all for our report. Thank you so much for listening and watching. May God bless you.